Hello, um, decided to go live today. I'm going live from now on for my Monday messages. Um, I know that it's not Monday, but yesterday was Martin Luther King Day. So um, I was actually in the mountains with no cell service. Um, and so today, Tuesday, we are doing Monday messages. Um, and I'm gonna do it really quick before my kids, um, my son that's home, gets back from walking the dog. Cause you know, it's kind of embarrassing just talking to myself. Anyway, so I'm gonna share today's Monday message. Um, before I do though, I wanted to also add that normally when I do this on Mondays, um, it will probably be like late Monday mornings. Today's been a crazy day, so I'm just gonna do it. Um, I've never really gone live before, so I know that I might not have anybody watching. I have Barbara watching right now. Hi, Barbara. Um, but that's okay. I just kind of wanted to do it so that I didn't have to do um, my Insta stories in increments. Um, another thing to know about today's Monday message is I am talking about my religion, which I don't usually do. Um, I just like to keep it to the topics of motherhood and marriage and self-care and things like that. But something kind of um, important happened today in my religion, so I'm going to talk about it a little bit. <clears throat> Okay, so today's Monday message is that um, having a picture of the living prophet, um, which in my church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, we have a living prophet. Um, and I believe that having a picture of the living prophet is evidence of the importance of, um, of the restored gospel and, and the work rolling forth, if you will. Um, I always have a picture of the living prophet. Now, this one I'm going to show you guys is President Thomas S. Monson, and um, he is our prophet that just died a few weeks ago. Um, I love that picture because it's kind of a candid picture. It's not like a portrait. It's just so cute of him. Um, so I have yet to change that one. I haven't yet, but I'm going to as soon as I get one printed of our new prophet, Russell M. Nelson. Um, I was taught at a very early age the importance of having pictures of Christ and the temple and our living prophet in our homes. Um, and honestly, that's something that I never ever see anymore. Um, when I go into my friends or neighbors houses, um, occasionally I'll see it, but I, I really don't see it that often. And um, our previous prophet, not just previous, but um, 40 years ago, I guess it's been, Spencer W. Kimball, he actually said, that having a picture of the temple in your homes um, was very important and he counseled parents to have that picture of the temple in their homes. Oh, my son's home. So, um, and I'm just going to go upstairs real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Just ignore me because I'm going to talk to people on my phone. <laughs> um, anyway, so this is so like unprofessional. Like, guys, I'm sorry, but, um, and I'm like, Got shiny face, it's so embarrassing, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, so he, Spencer W. Kimball, talked years and years ago about the importance of having a picture of the temple in your home, and people don't know this, but he also mentioned having a picture of the living prophet, um, so my mom tells me. And so we always did that as I was growing up. In fact, ours was right in our family room, a huge, like, 8 by 10, um, looking down at me as I was watching the TV. It was right there. <laughs> So maybe that was on purpose because I was watching TV. I was like, oh, hi, President Hinckley. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, now I have a picture of the living prophet in my home. It's just a little five by seven on my bookshelf, but I can tell you that I've noticed a huge difference in my home, the spirit of my home having that on there. So I am now going to go post that Monday message and link it to this. I also just published an article about President Nelson, just kind of some basics about his biography as well as some um, interesting things that most people don't know. So um, you can go check that out and that will be in the link in my bio, my biography. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining us today. And by us, I mean me on my mes Monday message.